Um, a new position opened up at my job. I applied for it. I feel a little bit bad because I am planning on moving in four months, but a raise is a raise. You feel what I'm saying? So I put in the application for that yesterday. My manager mentioned the position opening up and encouraged me to apply for it. So hopefully that referral was not in vain. Okay, and what was... Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. The routing number is going to be 325-180. You're welcome, Kitty. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for your call. Bye-bye. So last year, I started doing a study on Nehemiah, and there was a lot going on, and I, and I never really got back to Nehemiah. Throughout last year, though, it would always pop up here and there, and also the relationship between him and Ezra, who's a prophet. Um, just the story of him building for God and no matter what getting the job done like continuing the build and riddled throughout this there's there's so many moments that can be translated to our walk with God and what he is calling us to build unto him regardless of what comes in between that when God calls you to put your hands to work on something when there's a labor involved to build he's not going to do the building for you Amen. But he'll give you everything you need, the resources to do it. They're ordained for you. So you don't have to fret about the how, the when, the who, the where, or the why. Nine times out of ten, you already have all the tools and all the resources you need to do what God has called you to do. Um, and renewing our mind to get God's vision, to get his instruction, is absolutely fundamentally needed to even start. Whatever God put in front of you to do, do that. Check out this little necklace. It's a little K. It has like a little heart at the end. I think it's so cute. Do you guys see how shiny that is for no reason? But the best part is this little guy right here, you plop one in. Let's say it wants to sit in this little corner, right? Then you grab your other necklace and it wants to sit in the back a little bit away. It's not moving. I'm gonna shake the crap out of this. Fail me now, don't fail me now, don't fail me now. It moved a little bit, right? It moved a little bit, but watch. When I open it back up and I take out one, it's not tangled. I'm, I'm really excited about that now. But anywho, you know, um, I'm moving in about four months. About two weeks ago, the Lord told me to check my business email, which is linked on my TikTok. It's been linked for about six months now. I stopped checking that business email because one, is just so much. If you want to get on TikTok and have free product just to have, just post one thing you've bought from the TikTok shop, businesses will find you, they will give you free things. About two weeks ago, the Lord told me to go through them again. And I was like, I really don't want to. Two, four days go by, I finally do it. One company was like, hey, how much do you charge per video? And then that's when the Lord said, you have to get rates. It's going to be per video, or you can do like a little um, little package deal. So I started doing that, came across this brand. Hey, we'll give you this for 15% commission. And then I looked at it, I'm like, oh, those are kind of cute. I kind of want a necklace. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take a free necklace, that's fine. And they were like, okay, are we able to keep your content and have copyright? And I'm like, okay, if you want that, then these are my rates. If not, I'll just make a video for you guys. And they're like, okay, just make the video for us, thank you. And I'm like, okay, Cool, but I was I was low key I was low key touched because they sent two and then they sent an extra one with my name on it and did you see the little heart? Did you see? The, it's so cute. Anywho, and then this other company, lashes, shocker. I told the Lord like that was why I stopped doing because so many lash people are like, hey, make a video for me for these lashes. So I declined all the lashed ones. I didn't even open them. But this one, they asked like, how much do you charge per video? I gave them my rates. But the reason why I gave them my rates is because they're like, yeah, we have these glueless lashes. I'm like, I actually would love to try the glueless lashes. Since I actually want to try it, I'll do three for 150. And they're like, okay, bet, we'll do that. I'm like, bet, hallelujah. I get these and I'm like, these aren't glueless. These are the regular lash kits. So I reached back out to them. 
after work. I'm like, hey, hate to say this, but our agreement was the glueless lashes for three videos in exchange for $150. And these are not glueless, these are the standard. So we'll have to go back to the original rate because the discount was hinged on them being glueless. They were a really sweet company and they were like, okay, well, we're out of the glueless. We get it back in stock end of March. So if you can just keep to the original agreed price, then we'll just send you those for free. I'm like, oh, that's really sweet, but it's not needed. I'm not able to keep the agreed upon price because we're no longer within the agreement. But since you already sent it to me and it seems like you don't want me to send it back because I offered, you know, I can, I can give you guys two videos for the 150. So that's the thing. And then there's a couple more others too. So um, yeah, my goal, my goal with that is to like from March to June to bring in anywhere from one to $5,000. We'll see, the Lord is faithful. I will also say that my candles, I have so many candles. And when I, when I go through building out that, that one I'm probably gonna put on TikTok shop. I already go live on TikTok twice a week. It'll be really easy to plug in, but we're just taking it bit by bit. I just wanted to show you guys that these little, I just think it's such an ingenious idea when it comes to your necklaces. And I just thought the little K was super cute. They didn't have to do it, but they definitely did. I'm thankful. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna edit what I just made and then set that aside and make some more content on some other items, so. We're gonna go get some Wendy's. I'm gonna eat, chill out, and watch a podcast. I got a bacon double stack biggie bag. So many people always talk about like, yo, you are so articulate. Like the way you explain things concerning the word, you should be a teacher, you should be a pastor, you should be this, like you do well with speaking, like da 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 da. If you feel like you're not good with expressing your emotions or explaining things about how you're feeling when it comes to sharing your testimony, when it comes to sharing the word of God, when it comes to, to inviting people into the Lord, it's a thing to ask the Lord to give you understanding to relate to people who he is and each and every time the Holy Spirit will do it because I promise you it's nothing about the vessel that makes God God. It's nothing about the vessel that brings in revelation. It's it's literally the Holy Spirit of God. Amen? Amen. I am getting ready to go over to the dentist. We're getting some cavities filled up. Necklace on. I started my shift. I got off early and I started doing some edits on some shorts and then um, on some TikTok videos. And I don't know what it was, but I just started getting so discouraged. And I'm not quite sure why. I'm not feeling motivated. I'm not feeling, I'm just not feeling good. And it's, it's rough to navigate sometimes when you know how to, you know, essentially fix the issue, but it doesn't make it easier. Like understanding a thing and knowing a thing and then applying a thing doesn't mean it's going to make it easier to make the choice to do that thing and to, to see the fruit of it. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. So we're gonna go to the dentist, get some food and grocery shop. I'll probably have like an hour before I have to clock back in for the last hour of the day. And yeah, I'm hoping that um, the Lord puts a smile on my face in a physical way. So yeah. and. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, amen. I'm just, I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to go back to work and talk because it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Half my face is literally just numb. <laughs> yes, besides I've been rather busy myself with computer. Well, the board meetings and security council meetings. You're really gonna make me do it. Do what? <laughs> Alrighty, so doing my hair, I did trim about an inch off.
I changed my workout schedule. I'm only working out two days a week now, just so that I'm not feeling overwhelmed and I have so much on my plate to where I end up just like not doing it, which is what happened the first two weeks of this month. Um, so changing that made it a little bit better, but I think for lunch, we're gonna have my favorite salad. This green goddess salad, absolutely amazing, top tier, and I'll probably have my last juice with it. I have salmon defrosting. I'm gonna meal prep this week salmon and some pasta. Um, so I'll show you guys that when I actually do that, when I make dinner. But right now we're gonna eat, drink, go live, get some cat food, come home, do the meal prep with you guys, amen. Ugh, my legs, they sore. They're a little, little, little sore. painful to sit down and leg days ain't no joke but i will say i think my favorite juice is this one it's super hydrating it's just really good oh the apple and the carrot really makes it sweet normally i always add ginger i do crush ginger about that much when it comes to juicing ginger i have a super cheap juicer so it doesn't work that well if I just do the crush, the pre-pureed one, it works out best. And usually I add um, mint to it because I usually put a lot of cucumber in mine because it's so hydrating. But the mint like cuts that cucumber to where it doesn't have like that weird aftertaste to it. I don't know, but mint is a game changer. And then the ginger, so good. And I, I low-key like the beet because it adds like a dirt flavor. It makes it feel like it's actually healthy, but ooh. So good. Then get into the salad. Like, look at that. So good. Mm. And one pack of those has two servings. So, and it's great on its own, or obviously on the side. But I'm gonna finish eating, and then we're gonna set up the live. After the live, I'm probably gonna clean up a little bit. I have so much um, laundry I have to get sorted. <laughs> um. Then after that, I'll show you guys my meal prepping for the week. <sighs> All right, we got done with our live. Now we are going to meal prep. I'm so excited. Let's get our food. Yay, food. So we have our water here. I keep my salt in a little container. So 
I'm heavy with the salt, you feel what I'm saying? Let me put you guys a little bit more in the mix. So we do like maybe two, two tablespoons of that. And then I need some avocado oil. Put a healthy dose of that, avocado oil. We only did half. And now we're gonna do our pasta because baby boy is boiling. And now if you can turn your attention over to here. Yes, I'm put right down the middle. Oh right there. Ugh. You know it's not it's not perfect, but it'll do. Ooh, garlic. And we're gonna use about half a bowl. Oh, garlic. I like it super garlicky. Yes. We're going to add our tomatoes. Woo! Yep. Then we're going to add our kale. Seems like it's a lot of kale because it is. And then the garlic. Give that a quick stir. We want to first put it on the garlic. Okay. Kosher salt. I use it for everything. Some Italian seasoning. You want to be heavy handed with this one, eh? Just gonna use your clean hands and massage the veggies a little bit. Now it's time for the sand. And put all four in there. Yay! This smells so good. Add our pasta. Now this food will probably last me about four days. Put back in and yes, add a little bit more salt. Mm-mm-mm. Alrighty, and now we're going to transfer the pasta, the salmon, into these little pre-made situations. Meal prep, also some overnight oats. So when I am ready to actually use them, the night before midday, I'll just add milk. I have two other ones already in the fridge. Oops. So yummy. Okay. Then this one we are gonna eat. Tina the talking tummy. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. Proverbs 18.21 There's a museum of swords in scripture, one that pierces through bone and marrow, flesh and blood, in a particular way, is this one. And the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. With it we bless our Lord and Father, and with it we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not be so. James 3, 6, 9 through 10. As it broke flesh, the blood proved the pain. The body felt the knife and the heart hurt at the sound of it. Contradiction is noisy, ain't it? How James sees it as moved along by the spirit, the way we speak to and about people tells a story. If we understand everyone, friend and foe, neighbor and nuance, as made in the likeness of God, the words we say should be tempered by that truth. 
Every single person we will converse with, both sinner and saint, bears the image of God. And for that reason, each person is worthy of honor. To reiterate the thought, if God made everyone, everyone is special. Not only does the nature of our neighbor matter as far as our words are concerned, but our words reveal the integrity of our inner self. Or rather, the disintegration between the two when our words demonstrate an obvious combination of both blessing and cursing out of the same mouth. James calls our attention to our inconsistency here by explaining that a plant's fruit should correspond with the plant's nature. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening both fresh and salt water? Can a fig tree, my brothers, bear olives, or a grape vine produce figs? Neither can a salt pond yield f- fresh water. James three eleven through 12 Someone might attempt to fix the problem of the tongue by simply refusing to talk, but silence doesn't regenerate or sanctify. To tame the tongue, we have to actually deal with who we are. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Luke 6.45 By dealing with not just the words we say, but also the heart that determines the speech, we can work toward the unity of our words and our worship. Woo. Woo. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. And the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. With it we bless our Lord and Father, and with it we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not be so. Not only does the nature of our neighbor matter as far as our words are concerned, but our words reveal the integrity of our inner self, or rather the disintegration between the two when our words demonstrate an obvious combination of both blessing and cursing out of the same mouth. James calls our attention to our inconsistency here by explaining that a plant's fruit should correspond with the plant's nature. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening both fresh and salt water? Can a fig tree, my brothers, bear olives, or a grape vine (laughs) produce figs? Neither can a salt pond yield fresh water. To tame the tongue, we have to actually deal with who we are. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Luke 6.45 By dealing with not just the words we say, but also the heart that determines the speech, we can work toward the unity of our words and our worship. Hey, hey, hey. So, Kaylin got promoted. I'm looking a little rough, y'all. This month has been very interesting. If you can't tell, my apartment's low-key been scattered. Mid-month, I started feeling like I was this hamster on a wheel. 
I mean, let's face it, since the beginning of this month, I kind of felt like I've been a hamster on a wheel. And it was, that was when the Lord was like, get off the wheel and ground yourself a little bit. It's really just stilling my heart, having my aim and my devotion really be set on the Lord. Second Corinthians 11.3, Paul doesn't want the Corinthian church, like Eve, to be deceived to the point where their thoughts lead them away from their simple and pure devotion to the Lord. And now that I have all this alone time, now that I have all this peace with where I'm at and where I'm going, I'm seeing where the Lord is taking me locking in with the Lord in that vein. All these different thoughts are just swarming me. <laughs> it's, it's caused me to feel very much scattered. Yeah. When you're feeling scattered in the midst of transitions, of readjustments, really, really resting in God's faithfulness towards us grounds us. Focusing our heart on the Lord keeps us. Allowing the word that God spoke over you to penetrate your heart and plant seeds in your heart, to, to not like nurse the word of God, but allow the word of God to be nursed in you by the Holy Spirit. It brings about not just good fruit, but it brings about wisdom on how that fruit is born. You feel what I'm saying? My schedule, as simple as it is, it's not simple enough. And it's reflecting in my life that I'm seeing, like just in my home, scattered, because my heart is not set in simplicity and purity on the Lord right because the scheduling of my actions like meal prepping working out cleaning hair care skin care um pet care because baby girl she pregnant family time alone time devotion time selling things organizing the home to get set up for the shipping of the car and then the plane ticket and then the finances the transferring of this and the work-life balance and then making sure like and all the items at work like i'm trying to fit all of this like i'm trying to work out my little routine and as much as i simplify it I can still make it more simple. The root of this is, is our heart. Like our heart has to be simple towards the Lord. And it's crazy because the heart is, a, is the most deceptive thing within us, honestly. Until you allow him to get your heart right, you can't expect your actions to reflect that right that rightness, amen, that right standing you have with God. You can't expect your home to reflect the peace you have with God. You feel what I'm saying? you know, make your plans, make them plain. Really look at the fact, does this point my heart towards God? Will my heart towards God remain erect? Your daily doings, is it costing you value in the Lord? Like the things you do, the things you've planned to do, the things you've set up to do, the demands of life that you have organized to where like a budget you can maintain and grow, Amen? Not just sustain and survive, but be sustained and thrive in. The application of those things is your heart towards the Lord, the motive to where as you're doing those things, you're bringing him with you. Because that's honestly, that's what I think the heart of submission is. It's a simple concept. I believe it's consideration. When you're committed and submitted to the Lord, you're considerate of him. Does this distract me from his heart towards me? Does this distract me from my heart towards him? I think that's really important. And if you have all these things to do and you have all these big aims, or if you don't have any aims and you're just going through life and you live a simple life as is, you still qualify the simplicity of your heart towards God. And that's kind of where I'm at with God. Last month, he spoke to me a lot about repentance, the nucleus of our intimate relationship with him. This month, he's speaking to me more about the heart and obviously a different, like the different postures of our heart. But he's speaking to me specifically about being receptive in our heart and what that actually looks like. And it includes a lot of items like faith, hope, joy, amen, abiding, obedience because the heart of obedience is trust if you really trust god and he tells you to do something you'll do it simply because you trust him yeah this month's entry is a lot of sit down and talks because the lord has told me to sit down and to talk amen i wish i could tell you guys like what to expect with these journal entries but i don't know and as i do them it'll be what it is and i just pray that the lord uses it and blesses it The Israelites, they, they, their relationship with God is a bit of a mess. They're like, hey, we'll serve you if you give us a king. Now, this is important. The king that was appointed over them 
is Samuel. And Samuel was, was, was Israelites' heart's desire. They had a desire in their heart to have a king. And God allotted that. God, God gave them what they wanted. God gave them their heart's desire. And, you know, it turned out, and Samuel's basically talking to them like, Y'all asked for me to be a king to y'all, and I've been made a king, but y'all still ain't following the commandments. Like, y'all still ain't serving your God. And your lack of faithfulness to God, not only will it bring wrath on y'all, it's gonna bring wrath on me. Amen? It's good for me either. So he was like, in verse 16, 18, so Samuel called upon the Lord, and the Lord sent thunder and rain that day because he said that's what he was going to ask the Lord to do. And all the people greatly feared the Lord and Samuel. I made note of the fact that they feared not just the Lord, but also Samuel, which was like, ooh, I don't think that's a good heart posture. It went on to say in verse 24, it's one of the last verses. It says, only fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. For consider what great things he has done for you. 20, it says, and Samuel said to the people, do not be afraid. You have done all this evil, yet do not turn aside from following the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. And do not turn aside after useless things that cannot profit or save, for they are useless. For the Lord will not cast away his people for his great name's sake, because it has pleased the Lord to make you a people for himself. This, this is so important. Walking in the fullness of God, being in right standing with him, to do that, you have to do it from your heart. Only fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. We can't walk by faith and not by sight to where it brings about a work of its own to where it's faith and works, not works over faith. If our heart isn't included in that faithfulness. Does that make sense? The faithfulness stems from the heart. Like, does that make sense? God is concerned about your heart. He's concerned about your faithfulness. He's concerned about your your genuineness, the genuine the genuineness of his love winning over your heart. That's what he's concerned about. Truly, truly, truly. The more we fall in love with the Lord for who he is and allow his love to lead us in loving him. <sighs> Cut the tape. <laughs> It has a sunroof. I'm really excited. So I haven't played in it yet, but I did some research on YouTube and the steering wheel, it's heated. The seats, they're heated. No more cloth, they're leather. Push start button is right here now. Everything's electrical too. In my 2012 Nissan, <laughs> not the case, not the case. And one thing I'm most excited for, honestly, um, is I used to have a 2015 Chevy Cruze and I was able to link up to Bluetooth and I can do that now. I have a giant display, it's touch screen. Like what? I have dual heating, you feel know what I'm saying? It even has a USB-C port with the normal USB and then an aux port and then the little lighter charger. The emergency brake parking. That thing is there. And then this little dashboard here. Here we go. Yeah. It's a nice little ting ting and it's clean. My favorite part is the wheels. I always wanted nice wheels. It reminded me of a Camry I rented out when I visited Georgia like two years ago. So yeah guys, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Kaylin got blessed with a car. God is so good. Now mind you, I am looking extremely rough. E extremely rough. The past week and a half has been extremely rough for Kaylin and um, it's been rough. Yesterday I got the vehicle and it happened out of nowhere. Also yesterday my TV broke. It fell on the floor and it broke. As um, irksome as it was and tempting as it was to just go into a to a pit, it's just one less thing I have to worry about trying to sell or find a place for. So we're going to reset up the home. That's how I originally had it set up was to stay for the next year. But now I have to set it up really just to move out of it. So a lot of things are moving and changing per usual. 
um, and I'm resting in the Lord as that's getting done and I'm setting my heart on Him. And as I've been doing that, it's been all the more tempting to um, be unsettled, to fall back into old coping mechanisms and fall into procrastination especially. But the more I resist the devil and he flee and the more I set my heart on the Lord, like truly and, and walk with him in, in things, um, he's just been blessing me continually. Um, so, Kaylin got a new whip. My dream car is gonna be a Camry, but that's gonna be for a different day. It also comes with like an emergency road kit. Like what? Oh, it's a little first aid kit. That's sweet. That's really cool. The more you know. Right now, you you driving around in a. Do we look at the value of the car? It's like brand new. It's like thirty three k. Thirty three k. But they lowered it for me. Oh yeah. To twenty nine. I know, man. He bit. Do you still have to do, baby? Yeah, okay. that's what we're talking about. Oh shit. <laughs> Did all that shit for nothing. So, you, you got Bluetooth on this joint or what? Sink a, sink a shot. I can't. I believe in you. I know you don't. You sure? Yeah, I got you. Oh, you missed? Yeah. Oh, I thought you made it. I'm just kidding. Oh, you did make it. <laughs> High five. Thanks. In the world? Yeah. All right, I'll play right here. I got 16, 16 minutes on that thing. I'm just going around the world. Oh, you should. Then after that, we do three. So, one, two, three, and then four, and then three throws, and then the same on the other side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> made a judgment. I know where to put it. Oh, Challenge is impossible, count me in. Hey, mission impossible. Oh, sure, you can do that. You had your shirt on back. Oh, yeah. You're doing good, you're doing good, you're doing good. Yeah, that bag is garbage. Yeah, I need to stop using it. It's not helping me. Go, go away, come on. Oh, too much. Hey, same, same concept. Yeah, that's it. Step and then bang. Put your shoot on, so. Oh, what's my shoot on? So you go like this. Wait. I think it's the opposite. Yeah, it's the opposite, my bad. And then you step like this, and you're ready to shoot. Just do it. What, little, what little, should you, okay, so you're right here left hand. Right. You're right, step to the left. Put this foot standing straight to the hoop. Okay. 
Here, jump. Jump into it. Jump here. Go away. Here, give me another one for the first over. Get your practice in. Am I stuck here again or did I miss it? Woo! Found that. Did I miss the shot? Yeah. He Wait, no, you made it. I made it, right? Wait. But I missed it over here and then I went back. Yeah. yeah. Alright, this is where I'm at. Yeah. Oh, no. We don't go in. What? Dang. Rick. Hey. Ow. It didn't even hit the backboard. Oh, it's raining? Yeah, it's raining. Oh, it's raining the other day. Yeah. Yeah, it was raining. I remember when I was trying to, I was trying to coach her and, and, and put her on gaming shit when we were kids. She was like your age. I should have done. Don't try again. Don't try again. Uh, oh. She had a little shot going on for a little bit, but then I don't know what happened. I stopped. Oh, because I wasn't coming around no more. Pretty much. Oh, I thought you guys did that too. Oh. Almost. Almost. Okay, guys, I'm back here now. Mm -hmm. You're right here. Oh, I Thank you. Hey, did you, did you see the, uh, did you know that, uh, any coaches got here, uh, what's it called? Uh, Disneyland? No. They just went, just stopped Friday, yeah. That's fine. Oh, what was it this weekend or what was it the weekend before? It was, it was last weekend. Yeah, it was last weekend. <laughs> it was like 12 there and she said, I'm at Disneyland. Yeah. That's nice. Oh, 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 oh man. Try again. I'm going to see if you can at least get the rim. Like, <laughs> hey, you're really jumping to your shit, right? Yeah, oh, that's that's nice. Nice. Now you got more power back, so you can get it, right? Almost. Oh, no, wait, maybe it was over there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Are you sure? I think you, I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Chunk change. Woo! You might as well just move up. Yeah, because he shot out of bounds, I didn't know why. Every time. Oh. Stop that on camera. You're gonna put the knife in there. I mean, my camera's still recording, so that's fine. Come on, come on, come on. You get all the way around the world. Oh, no grip. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. How do you wish I could have dropped that on? In my life. Money. Oh. That's funny. All right, here's money. You wish? Uh, no. It's a poop. Turn, turn. Come on, go. Close, go. Woo! After a while, I just shoot for a while. You just start muffing me. Oh! Don't look at me. <laughs> I, I distract you, my bad. Go ahead. This is your last chance. Yeah. Okay. Any freebie chance. Woo! Stay put, sis. Stay put. Sorry. <laughs> Bro, just, just hit the rainbow, man. Come on. Ali, oop. Woo! Oh! Give him another one. How do I go? Give him another one. Give him another one. Rainbow that. I got those two Kobe's. Oh. I'm trying to get his affinity. The other ones. You want those ones? I guess I have. You want them? Rock them. I want the Kobe versions. The green ones? The green ones. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I want. The green and, uh, they're not red. They're uh, like punch, 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 punch red. I want to try again. For real, you want those? I want those too. Where are you finding those? The ones there. The ones I saw was like 160. Oh. Yeah, they're like 160. For my size. What? Go, go 500. Go, go ahead. No, not the, not the apple. See, so you could do it. I did. Not the, not the Grinches. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you when we get back to the house. Oh, you right. sure? Yeah, I did like three times. Woo! He's a gentleman. Any minute. Woo! Stay quick. I'm gonna. <laughs> Knock that out. Oh my god! Yo, all day, all day, all day. Oh, and then he's trying to fade that shit. Almost though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money. Here you go. Get, 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 get. Money. Oh! Money. Oh. Money. Oh my god. Almost. It, it's the straight shots that get you. That's it. It's straight. Hey, just take your time. Busa. All right? Take your time. It's nothing. Get it. Get it, boy. Get it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, stop. Don't encourage you. Do Man, he's just fucking around. I know. He doesn't do that purposely. Come back. Come back. Yeah, he's making fun of Inside a little too long, about time that I sing me a new song. That part. <laughs> one one moment I'm good, I'm good. Next moment I'm not, I'm really not. It's just crazy how much the Lord has blessed me, like truly blessings overtaking me. It's just, I think a lot of discouragement. We are not doing that no more, amen. I'm over it, I'm done with it. Amen, we're gonna be all right.